Hey, welcome. It's Brian, and this is Guitar Solo Reactions. Today, we're back with Negan Isu, and they are doing the song Oduro Asanbushi. This is live in Tokyo 2014. I love these guys. Heavy, with some prog influences, and very much like an original band in itself. Heavy, like I said, kind of proto-metal, but metal, but like in an old kind of cool way, like a Uriah Heep, Black Sabbath. Uh, but definitely, like I said, their own thing. So we are going to check this out. I'm super excited. It's an 8 minute and 45 long piece. Uh, and that's kind of their runtime on a lot of their pieces, which is cool. So anyway, here we go. <laughs> Very doomy. Old doom. Nice. 
So he's got that amazing SG, uh, the bass player playing a cool BC Rich Eagle, one of my favorite old guitar makers uh, the, from the 70s. I love those 70s BC Riches. Uh, it looks like lots of Marshalls, some old ones, some new ones. And right then he kind of looked like, I think he kicked in a fuzz because all of a sudden it got a little more burly and it kind of, uh, kind of like the beginning, kind of fuzzy, but heavy. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's some kind of fuzz. I need to check out his gear, guitar playing wise. <laughs> So there we have it, Negan Usu, 
doing a song I can't pronounce, but cool, heavy, with lots of dynamics, an incredible guitar solo. Uh, live, that's I believe the first one I've done that's live. Uh, I have many more to come. Please suggest your favorites. I kind of slowly digging through it. I don't really uh, discover it without your help uh, as far as cool new tunes. And uh, I am also probably trying to do one of their versions of a King Crimson song. They do Lux Tongues and Aspic, and they also do uh, 21st Century Schizoid Man. Uh, usually King Crimson blocks everything I've tried before, so I might do one and just see how it goes. But anyway, hey, I am Brian. I love this band, and uh, please come back for more, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.